Planets, asteroids and meteors, August 2025 is one of the best night months of the year for astronomical events. This is primarily due to the Perseids, arguably the best meteor shower of the year. But the Perseids aren't the only thing worth seeing in the night sky this month. The August night sky has plenty else to see. August 6th, conjunction of Saturn and Neptune. Saturn and Neptune will share the same right ascension, with Saturn passing 1 degree 8 minutes to the south of Neptune. The pair will be visible in the morning sky, becoming accessible around 2312, when they reach an altitude of 21 degrees above your eastern horizon. They will then reach their highest point in the sky at 330, 60 degrees above your southern horizon. They will be lost to dawn twilight around 0441, 56 degrees above your southwestern horizon. Saturn will be at magnitude 0.6 and Neptune at magnitude 7.8, both in the constellation Pisces. August 9th, full moon. The moon will be located on the opposite side of the Earth as the sun and its face will be fully illuminated. This phase occurs at 1827 UTC. This full moon was known by early Native American tribes as the Sturgeon Moon. This rare calendar event only happens once every few years, giving rise to the term once in a blue moon. There are normally only three full moons in each season of the year, but since full moons occur every 29.53 days, occasionally a season will contain four full moons. The extra full moon of the season is known as a blue moon. Blue moons occur on average once every 2.7 years. August 12th and 13th peak of the Perseid meteor shower. If you love the night sky, you already know what makes the night of August 13th so special. It's the peak of the Perseids. The Perseids meteor shower peaks every year in mid-August. In 2025, this peak is expected to occur overnight on the 12th. At its peak, you can expect to see up to 150 meteors per hour. This, combined with warm weather in the northern hemisphere, makes it the most popular meteor shower of the year. The Perseids meteor shower is caused when the Earth passes through a stream of debris left by the comet 109 p swift tuttle swift tuttle has a 133-year orbital period, but we experience a yearly meteor shower due to variations in the Earth's orbit and width of the debris stream. To spot the Perseids, look for them radiating from a point in the northeastern sky. The best part of trying to view the Perseids meteor shower this year is the moon phase. A nearly new moon on the peak night will present zero interference with spotting as many shooting stars as you can. August 18th, Planetary Alignment 2025. On the morning of August 18th, 2025, you'll get a chance to see something quite spectacular, and that's a planet parade, a line of solar system worlds stretching above the horizon. Going from the horizon upwards, Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, and the Moon are all positioned in an almost straight line. Making this will be the morning where several bright planets and the Moon will line up in a picture-perfect parade, the Farmer's Almanac said. Face east about 45 minutes before sunrise. Mercury will be lowest in the sky and toughest to spot. But above it and to the right, you won't miss dazzlingly bright Venus quickly followed by dimmer, but still stunning Jupiter. Higher still, you'll see the waning crescent moon. August 21st, Lunar Occultation of Saturn. There's a rare lunar occultation of the planet Saturn, visible from the UK on the morning of 21st August 2025. This is a great chance to see one of the most inspiring sights in planetary observing, as Saturn will disappear behind the moon from our perspective on Earth, only to reappear 45 minutes later. Although the moon looks impressive and dominant in a dark sky, its apparent size is actually only half a degree across. The moon is able to move around the sky in a relatively narrow corridor, approximately 10 degrees wide, centered on the ecliptic. August 26th, conjunction of the moon and Mars. The moon and Mars will share the same right ascension, with the moon passing 5 degrees 16 minutes to the north of Mars. The moon will be 24 days old, at around the same time, the two objects will also make a close approach, 
technically called in a pulse. The moon will be at magnitude minus 11.4 and Mars at magnitude 0.8, both in the constellation Taurus. The pair will be too widely separated to fit within the field of view of a telescope or pair of binoculars, but will be visible to the naked eye. August 27th, Conjunction of the Moon and Jupiter The Moon and Jupiter will share the same right ascension, with the Moon passing 5 degrees 40 minutes to the north of Jupiter. The Moon will be 23 days old, the Moon will be at magnitude minus 11.6, and Jupiter at magnitude minus 2.3 both in the constellation Taurus. The pair will be too widely separated to fit within the field of view of a telescope or pair of binoculars, but will be visible to the naked eye. August 31st, a rigid meteor shower, 2025. The rigid meteor shower will be active from August 28th to September 5th, producing its peak rate of meteors around August 31st. Over this period, there will be a chance of seeing a rigid meteors whenever the shower's radiant point in the constellation Auriga is above the horizon. With the number of visible meteors increasing, the higher the radiant point is in the sky. The shower will not be visible before around 2357 each night when its radiant point rises above your eastern horizon. It will then remain active until dawn breaks around 531. The shower is expected to reach peak activity at around 3 a.m. IST on September 1, 2025, and so the best displays might be seen before dawn on the 1st of September and after the radiant rises on Mupati Wundru, August. Hope you will enjoy the August 2025 night sky events. If you enjoyed watching the video, do give us a like, also share the same with astronomy lovers, and subscribe to Secrets of Space for astronomy updates. Thank you for watching.